Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the final Universally Speaking before SummerSlam. I am your host, Coltrane, back with another Universe Mode video as we're going through all the major happenings this week in Universe Mode, right before the biggest party of the summer. We're going to get right into it, ladies and gentlemen. First things off, starting things off with KJ Jones. You guys seen KJ Jones in the exclusive footage? He attacked. He was attacked by the NWO's Samuel Lewis. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am getting sad in news that KJ Jones will be out for four to six weeks. He will not make it to SummerSlam. He wanted to make it to SummerSlam to be a part of the attendance, but he can't even do that. He has been pulled from live events. He has also been pulled from Monday Night Raw as well because Stephanie McMahon wants to make sure he's available. For the Raw exclusive pay-per-view after Clash of the Champions. Well, he probably won't be available for that as well. So Stephanie is scrambling to find another opponent for whoever the United States Champion is after Clash of Champions. Because KJ is looking like he won't make it there in time. It's very, very unfortunate news for KJ Jones. He had a bright future. It looked like he was going to be up and up. But he crossed the line when he was talking about the new world order and the nwo hash struck it's going to be very interesting to see what happens with samuel lewis and the nwo at wwe SummerSlam. and it's been reported that they have been working on an entrance together and reforming things with each other um, it's also been reported that samuel lewis has been working closely with um kevin ash and um, Scott Hall over the past couple of days ahead of tomorrow night's Summer Slam. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens with Samuel Lewis and with the New World Order. Because they are supposed to be introducing a fourth member after Summer Slam. I know Samuel Lewis and the NWO are laughing because they got rid of KJ Jones who crossed the line. This could be a message. For anybody that wants to get in the NWO's pathway. And on the news, ladies and gentlemen, we're, we're, we're getting rumors that more talent will be making their way to WWE. More rumors have been circulating that more talent that were making their way to the WWE after WWE SummerSlam. Where, it, where it's going to be... Um, where, where it's going to be the Superstar Shake-Up. As of right now, uh, for the Superstar Shake-Up, Raw has 25 picks. SmackDown, uh, Raw has, uh, I think, 25 picks. SmackDown has the original 20 picks because Raw, because SmackDown Live lost the matches that we had at uh, the Mega Main Event show. Well, it's being, being rumored that SmackDown is bringing in some new talent, indie talent. Rumors that we're going to get the an, un, an undisputed tag team. Rumors that we're going to be getting uh, somebody to dominate. Rumors that we're going to be getting somebody to take over. So only time will tell us see what that is all about. Because new talent is on their way to the WWE after WWE SummerSlam. And some of that new talent might be in the Superstar Shakeup. And other news, ladies and gentlemen, the Superstar Shake-Up will take place um, after SummerSlam. We're going to have the Raw after SummerSlam, the SmackDown Live after SummerSlam. And then the Superstar Shake-Up will take place a week after that. So do not miss the Superstar Shake-Up. It is going to be an amazing time, and you don't want to miss to see where your favorite superstars are will end up uh, in the next couple of weeks. In other news, Finn Balor speaks on missing WWE SummerSlam. But I, I, was in, I, I was in an interview with Finn Balor um, ahead of WWE SummerSlam tomorrow night, and he, I asked him about his Money in the Bank victory. Well, Finn Balor told me this, and I quote, I'm back. I feel better than ever. Roman Reigns might have beaten me at Mega Man event. I don't even want my rematch. 
because I'm, I'm at the top of the world. I'm Mr. Money in the Bank. And I can finally achieve my goal that I've been searching for ever since I came to SmackDown Live. And that is the WWE um, Championship. The only reason why my goal got stopped was because of Kevin Owens. Well, Kevin Owens might not be a factor because I'm pulling for the Night Wolf to get the victory. The only reason why I couldn't help the Night Wolf was because my career is more important right now. I'm sorry, Night Wolf. I should have been a part of Team Night Wolf, but unfortunately, I couldn't. But I can tell you this now. I'm pulling for you at WWE. SummerSlam to finally get rid of the Alliance for good and maybe one day we might meet inside the ring that's very very interesting uh, pulls there by Finn Balor as he's pulling for um, the Nightwolf to win that is very very interesting also I actually got some footage of Brandon Collins speaking of Team Nightwolf um, Team Nightwolf is coming up with some new entrances to WWE SummerSlam, and you guys will see those clips from there. I was supposed to get an interview with Brandon Collins, but unfortunately, Brandon Collins told me he does not want to talk because he's getting ready for SummerSlam tomorrow night. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, the kickoff show will be on August 25th. It will be streamed live at 12 o'clock p.m. I hope I can see everybody there because it's going to be an amazing show. In other news, I got to talk with the, um, I, I, I got to catch up with Scott, uh, with, um, Samuel Lewis ahead of SummerSlam and his attack on Kevin, on, on KJ Jones. D Lewis told me this, and I quote, <laughs> you seen it coming. It's a new world order. Nobody believed us when we said that. Well, you see it clear as day. It's happening in front of your eyes. And it's too sweet. I laughed at the idea of what KJ Jones said. Talking about he's going to be United States champion. Well, KJ, that's for me. You see, I want to do something that you were supposed to do. And the night was, was supposed to do. And, it's be and that is to become a WWE champion. And I know... With Kevin Nash and Scott Hall help the new world order. We can do big things in this business. And properly take over WWE. It's too sweet. KJ, you're so funny. You really are. Because the hilarious thing is that you bragged about everything about Mega Bay event. And you beating the night woman. Then you didn't even win the title. I have a, I have the chance to do something that you couldn't do. And that is to become the European champion. You know what I said? That's funny. He said me. Um, Samuel, what about the controversy with rumor that Stephanie Mance is introducing a third man to your match at SummerSlam? It won't matter. Because that pathetic and crybaby KJ Jones won't be there to ruin my moment. I don't care who the third member is. They won't touch me. Because when my brother's going to be at my side at WWE SummerSlam. They're going to be at my side. They're going to be helping me take, take over. And it's going to be too sweet because <laughs> you, you, you people are hilarious you guys yeah, you guys really are hilarious you know what I'm saying? The, the, the hilarious thing is that you guys think that kj jones and this magic third man is going to affect things it's not and you can see well i'm going to show you guys exclusive this, this is how me and my brothers are coming out at SummerSlam. you're going to see it here See how too sweet it is? See that? That's a, that's a new world order. That's something that KJ Jones will never have as long as I am on Monday Night Raw. Period. 
and Cole don't even think the superstar shakeup will change things. Cause once I win that European title, I ain't going nowhere. You can believe that. You see it as you're judging by that quote, Samuel Lewis is very confident. Samuel Lewis is one of the most he's very confident. And could that confidence be worn? Because if it's a one on one match and the NWO is by his side, I don't give Drew McIntyre a shot. I I, I just don't. May he might. But judging by this by this footage, I don't give him a shot at all. Cause it might be a new world order. And that's the scary part. My goodness. I, I, I don't even know what to say. I'm, guys, I'm, so I'm supposed to play some NWO music to take us off here. We got to talk about J-Boy. I'm talking about sorry, Brandon Collins real quick. And runs. Stephanie, okay, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. I, I got you. I'm supposed to play New World Order music. Um, she wants music. So, this is going to take us. We got to go over the last story about Brandon Collins. Um, I talked to talk with Brandon Collins ahead of WWE SummerSlam in the Big Alliance match, Team Nightwolf versus the Alliance match. Brandon Collins saying that um, they are ready and. Nobody can stop them. And it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. Well, ladies and gentlemen, one more time before we get to WWE SummerSlam. I want to show you the official main card of WWE SummerSlam. As the NWO's music plays. I've been your host, Coach Chain. See you guys in Brooklyn, New York for WWE SummerSlam.